right, starting off with defense, I got Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, Javon Kinlaw, and Samson Nebucom. Then behind them, I got Charles Aminihu, Kevin Givens, Hassan Ridgeway, and Kamoko Ture. I really love him. Love him. Then after that, I got Jordan Willis, Kerry Hyder, and my guy, my favorite draft pick of this class, Drake Jackson. Nice, nice list, man. I mean, honestly, can't go wrong on the defensive line, especially with a team that's been building facts, through facts, the trenches man, the last few years, and they've been doing a phenomenal job with that. Um, my list, very, very similar. I have Eric Armstead, Nick Bosa, my personal favorite, Ebu, uh, Samson Ebucom, Kerry Hyder Jr., Charles Amenuhu, uh, Kamoko Ture, Dre uh, Jackson, Javon Kinlaw, and Kevin Givens. Uh, that's what I have on my list. Um, yep. So it seems pretty well, similar. Well, as but far they, as my linebackers, of course, I got Fred Warner and Dre, uh, Dre Greenlaw. Okay. Did you get to yours? Yeah, my okay. linebackers. I yeah, got, I got Oren Burks, too. Okay. Aziz Al-Shair, Chavarius uh, Ward, Emmanuel Mosley, <laughs> Womack, Hafunga, Jimmy Ward. You know, that's the rest of the defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the defense, I mean, man, they got so many guys on that man, side of the ball. And then there's just more. Like, you know, it's whoever Flanagan, gets, Fowler. Whoever Still gets cut, Thomas. Is, is just gonna be easy picks. Like that's gonna be a solid pickup for any squad. So what um uh, what safeties, DBs and stuff, do you think are gonna get cut? Who's staying? What you think? Hmm, safeties and DBs. I mean, with Jason's gonna be on IR, um, so he's missing the first four games. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I think Ambry Thomas that hurts, man. Ambry Thomas. I I mean, I, I think he's kind of taking a step back. Um, you know, being at training camp, he just didn't see him, you know, seem like he was last year. So, um, yeah, I think he's just going to be the odd man out. I think Lenore is going to take a step and he'll, you know, take that last spot. But uh, come next year, you know, it's going to be a tough, tough fight. Um, but uh, yeah, right. we'll see. Well, with we'll that, see. <laughs> I actually have Ambry still on the team. Mm. Um, just like how we were discussing earlier about Shanahan sticking with his guys and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, this is another one of the second-year guys that came in with Trey. And he did make big plays for us last year. And I thought he was way worse last year. But then <laughs> somehow he got into the lineup with our injuries and everything. He ended up making the biggest pick of the year, which is what got he us did. to the playoffs. He did. You know what I'm saying? And Shout that, out that to was Ambry a big Thomas. moment. Yep. So that moment alone is going to have him, how, like, how that's going to look. Mm -hmm. Man, Ambry Thomas makes this big interception, and then, you know, it's looking good for him. Stock is up around the league. Then all of a sudden, next training, ha training camp, he cut. Uh, to me, I, I don't think that's happening. So, Well, you got to think about it like this, too, right? So you have Charvarius Ward, who just signed a big contract. Uh, you have Manny Mosley, who's been playing lights out throughout training camp. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You have Jason Verrett, who obviously they value, um, and they're going to stick around and keep. So yeah, you have three me, guys already. To me, that one, that one, to me, Jason one doesn't count yet because he's he's injured and he's on the pup list. Okay, so then you that, have spot, that spot is still open. Samuel Womack, who's been balling. Yeah, he's a, he's in the starters, though, on the, as a nickel. You Ambry know. Thomas is a cornerback. You know what I'm saying? Like he gonna yeah. be he gonna be on the outside. But see, that's where I penciled in Dante Johnson. And see, that's where we differ because I don't think I think they're gonna choose Ambry over Dante Johnson. You think they're so? gonna choose youth over that. I do over the experience. I think they're gonna choose youth because they have, that's what they've done at at dang near every position this year. Did we not just get way younger? Look at our O line. Yeah, but I think at that particular spot at corner, being with it being so deep, I think you can keep. A Dante Johnson over an Ambry. I mean, they got experience already over there. They already got Charvarius Ward for experience. They already got Jimmy Ward for experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then as far as like the linebacking crew goes, like they can easily talk to them about certain things because we got Fred Warner out there getting interceptions. Like he's a DB. <laughs> Fred Warner is an All Pro. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So our our defense is good, and we've always been able to scheme up whatever we need to, to hide any deficiencies and to excel and where, mm -hmm. where we at. Because we had deficiencies last year, and it was especially at DV. Mm -hmm. But somehow we was 10 minutes away from the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That There's a lot of things that went into that. Don't even get me started. But I'm just saying, that's what I got from that. Okay. So that's just where I stand. But we're going to find out on Tuesday. We're going to find out on Tuesday. We're going to find out on Tuesday. Everything going to come down to that. When that so, list needs to be chopped down to 53, um, mm -hmm. Do you I think, think Jimmy gonna be here or not by Tuesday? Mm -hmm. What you thinking? 
I'm going to go on the record and say I believe Jimmy G will be here on Tuesday. Okay. So we got me going that he will not, and then you saying that he will. Okay. I know I'm going out on the big limb because every day that he's supposed to be going, he ain't been gone. For all mm-hmm. I know, Jimmy going to be here all the trade career, too. For all he, who knows, man? Jimmy knows? just, he live here. He just be at the at the facility just chilling in the weight room, <laughs> eating all the snacks. Yeah. You yeah. know, I'm I'm Everything. just gonna say, yeah, I think he's gonna be, I think he's gonna be here Tuesday. Yeah, I think they're he even might. gonna try and find. But I don't, I don't think he's gonna be here. I think they're either gonna think try so and either. find value to get it either trade in or maybe keep him. And pay. Value, you ain't no value for Jimmy. But you know, what value? He's still at the. He probably sleep there right now. He take. I mean, there. you know, a seventh round is even something. So, may, to them, maybe to the San Francisco 49ers, that's everything. Okay. Anyway, if it were me, <laughs> I just you know cut. Anyway, we gonna highlight at y'all in the next one. We wishing Debo well, you know what I'm saying. But Debo, get healthy, man. We want to wish you a, a speedy recovery. And of course, a, man, we need you, my guy. We know you're gonna have a killer, killer season. I can't wait. Um, the whole I team, can't wait. We're rooting for you guys, and uh, and I'm man, and you already know they over there talking mess on the Texan side over there. Like I'm with Debo. Like chill, my guy. Debo still had a hundred, what, hundred and three yards that game. Man, come on, bro. <laughs> Good plan. You play for the Texans now, my guy. Just chill out. Be cool. Man. Win eight games and then come holla at somebody. Especially yeah. somebody talking yeah. about an all-pro. Get there before you start talking. You heard it here anyway, first, folks. We out of here, man. We out of here. For y'all. We bringing y'all what we got.